In white, attacking the goal on your right. Because of the clash of colours between these two countries, Austria wearing their chain strip, which are red jerseys, dark red jerseys, white shorts. Tony Curry attacking for England. Colin Bell. Curry made good space into the box. Might still get a corner out of it, and he did indeed. Off. Krieger, the number three. First corner of the game in the first minute of the game. Tony Curry wearing the number seven. Knocked out well by Sterk, only as far as Bell. Now Clark. Good wide ball for McFarlane, who's still up there in attack. Now it's Bell trying it. First save then by Concilia. Sara, the captain. Far side, Cruz. Wide ball, easily taken out by Tony Curry. A ball to race onto, to it's Callum. The attack still building. Alan Clark. Far post. Well, the far post ball seemed to be going for Channon, but Big Chillers came in and tried the header. Wide of the far. The header going wide of the far post. Martin Chivers really coming in like a tank on that ball then. Although it seemed to be fighting better for Shannon. Now it's Sara. Schmidradner. First a little bit of attack, building up from the Austrians, but that's a bad ball, easily taken up by Curry. Now it's Clark. Curry is steaming past him. Curry, down the clock. Players already finding this very greasy. Wembley turf, a little awkward. Turn ball for Shannon, aiming for Mabley on the right side then. A little too far in front of him. Torrential rain here in Wembley. For an hour or so before the kickoff. It's eased off now, but it's made that turf very, very greasy indeed bad night for goalkeepers the ball likely to pick up speed as it bounces on the turf Edmire Hans Edmire and the Austrians passing really is not in uh, top gear at the moment Clark carry a lot of space to work on this right side as far as Peters it's Colin Bell England certainly putting the troops forward. Edmund Hughes, the ball hardly come out of the Austrian half right from the kickoff, since the kickoff. Farland. Farland carrying it on. Edmund Hughes is right to his left hand. McFarland going all the way. Offside flag catching Clark anyway. Well, that was an eager enterprise from Roy McFarland, yet to score his first goal in England shirt. Edmire, an ambitious long ball taken out by Hughes. Peters down. Peters again looking for Curry. Norman Hunter. Hughes. Sarah nodding at infield. Edmire there. Well robbed by Clark. Madeley. Turn ball, not a good one from Shannon, but he gets second bite at it. In tight behind him. Fine ball, just a little bit too long for Shivers on the far post. Shivers. 
finally robbed by Willie Coys. Striking centre forward, which uh, shows how many men Austria had dragged back then. Sara for Austria. Cruz, it's a little bit tight in there. Franco. Edmire. Eigenstiller. England marking up tight, there's not much on. England spurred, uh, obviously to do something pretty useful here tonight because the England amateurs put six on an Austrian amateur side last night. Hunter. Shivers and Channon. Well up the park for England. Alan Clark in midfield, taking it on. Chance to run at Austria. Madeley joining in the right. Starek. Starek gives the corner away. Gusti Starek. Lad with a lot of experience, Gusti Starek. In Germany with Nuremberg and Munich in 60 and Bayern Munich as well. Now back in Austria playing his football. Curry's corner. And Curry didn't go out for another corner. Curry the cross. Colin Bell. The entire England side apart from Shilton now. Attacking. Colin Bell. And again the turf slipperiness of the turf Curry in behind the Austrian defence again a lot of bods in the box good strong tackle by Mabel Farland Clark Bell Madeley now Curry taking over and robbed by Edmar and Etmar was daydreaming then, as Madeley robbed him. Curry. Chibbers was on the uh, far side, but the ball too firmly struck for him. Concilia, fairly frailish goalkeeper. Sterek. Huttenberger. Good break. Good covering by Madeley. Curry down. Finding it for Bell. Now Hunter. Alan Clark wide. Hughes has gone steaming on the left side. Now he's stopped. Shannon takes it on. Chance on here for Peters and well taken out by Sterling. Tony Curry couldn't keep it in play. This patch down in front of us of different coloured turf because of the widening for Speedway. Sterling. Eigenstiller. Krieger. Krieger, some space to attack. Hattenberger, Sara. First Austrian attack building up. Krieger. Cruz. Good skills then and lost his feet when he needed him most. Sara. Hattenberger. Cruz. Frankel well under that. Hunter. And Bell, a lot of space to operate in that midfield section at the moment. Shannon started to run too soon, he's offside.
Austria, a long and honourable tradition of playing football against uh, England, the very first foreign side that England ever played. Way back in 1908, they played in Vienna and beat Austria 6-1 on that occasion. Starting for Austria. Got a great deal on for him. Jana. Sara, the captain. Oh, and here's a mistake. Hunter there to prevent any capitalization by Austria. Chivers, Sara comes to him. Hunter. Chivers. Oh, good dummy then by Shannon. Clark fetching it long here for Peters. Brought it down neatly. Chivers the challenge. And it's in the back of the net. Well, it could have been Chivers. It could have been Shannon. On the other hand, it's more likely that Hattenberger got the last touch. Perhaps we'll see more clearly here in the replay. Peters, the cross ball. Chivers challenges against the goalkeeper who seemed to hesitate. And the ball goes in, off, I think it's got to be Shannon. Hunter for England. Clark. Hunter. Good try. Good first time, fired shot. Norman Hunter. Schmidradner for Austria. Director for Krankel. Aiming for Willy Cruz. Take on Hughes first. All neatly done. And the obstruction given against uh, Emlyn Hughes. The ball tucked neatly between his legs by Cruz. Gusti Starek is uh, going to take the free kick, number seven. Nico Jara, number 11 in the box. Franco, number eight. The big lad, Hattenberger, number six. And Willy Cruz. Starek's kick. The chance on for Etmeyer. Good one, too. Etmeyer whacking it low then for Shelton's left-hand post. He had to hurry to make the save. Alan Clark for Hunter. Shannon. Peters in for Chivers. Only as far as Bell. Curry. Far post is Clark. All neatly done. to relive the moment, there's Curry's ball defence was leaving Clark much too much room Sara was hanging back off him beautiful close control though and that shot across the face of the goalkeeper Colin Bell Hughes going outside him, Bell switching it back this side, Peters need on by Curry Riga out Starek, the pressure on him from Bell. Hunter now. Maidley. Hunter picking up Hughes. Farland. Hunter. Hunter, plenty of room to move forward. A oh, well brought in by Bell. Clark, and again, he got it the second time. Alan Clark gets his second goal of the afternoon, of the evening rather. It's 3-0 England. And watch the way that Bell does so magnificently off balance to get this ball in. And Clark given two strikes at the cherry. There's one, and that one he says thank you.
A right hook and a left hook, he scores with. 3 0 England, about two minutes to go to half time. And uh, I'm not so sure that Sir Alf Ramsey will reckon this is a good warm up for the game against uh, Poland. You'll have to expect a great deal more from the Poles than uh, he's getting tonight from the Austrians. Sara's run wide on the right side. Stadek missed it all together. And here comes Bell. Clark. Clark doing it so neatly between two of them that time. Maidley. Curry. Maidley goes for the return. It was too long for him. That ball was over. It's a corner. Concilia getting himself in difficulties or rather perhaps it would be fair to say he was put in difficulties moving ball Curry's got to take that corner again hooked away by Sala but not far enough that's McFarland McFarland again Shiver's a good strong challenge. McFarland across the box again. Shannon up. Starting for Austria. Mike <laughs> still around, leaves it. Frankel back for Krieger. Edmire. Edmire ambitiously tries a shot and hits Curry. So Clark breaks for England. Tony Curry as the attack builds up down the right side again. Peters has gone outside him on the right. It didn't seem long enough as referee Corver of Holland reckons that's the first half. The first half which has been won absolutely solidly by England. They go in 3 0 up. Shannon and Clark, two of the scorers. And the chances of Austria getting back into this game, pretty thin. But we should have some more excitement and the panel in just a few moments after the break. Please rejoin us then. is there and we're away in the second half Austria attacking the goal on the right 3 nothing down and Austria have made their first substitution Gombash, that's him now and the question is who is not out there at the moment England in tremendous form, really taking these Austrians apart. Well, one then by Shannon, Hughes, Clark. Clark has had such a magnificent first half. Hunter. Willie Croys. 
Franco. Gusti Starek. Sara. Schmidt-Rodner for Austria now. Starek. Edmar. Fallen. Completely composed then. Curry taking lots of time about aiming this pass, and Shannon lost his legs just at that moment. Sarah. Spidradner. Is giving it a run after lots of time. The substitute is Gombash. He's on for number six, Hattenberger. Evelyn Hughes on the attack for England. Alan Clark again. Has it come for Clark? Shot! And he better than he has! Did he get his hat trick? The ball is in there now anyway from Shannon. It's 4-0. 4-0. Shannon finishes it off, but for a moment, we wondered whether Alan Clark had got his hat-trick. Now, let's see if that ball does go over the line. It drops down, Concilia fumbles it. Did it go over the line? I think that did. That's one that you've got to argue about afterwards, but there's no doubt that Shannon finished that move off all right. Evan Hughes, Hunter... Curry. Shannon. Shannon still moving, going on his own all the way. Must be in for a piece of something. And a tackle by Starek. Looked like a charge in the back. And the crowd showing their disapproval. Let's see if indeed that might have been a penalty or not. There's Shannon going in. There's the tackle from number seven. Colin Bell. Evan Hughes. Clark. Bell. Curry. A oh, beautiful passing movement and the shot from Clark. Eigenstiller now. Edmar being forced backwards by Maidley. Eigenstiller helping out. Austria dozing off for a moment. Shannon, like handball by Agenstiller, but allowed to play on. So it's Alan Clark for England. Beautiful ball for Peters. And again, that was Krieger putting it behind for a corner. And again, the goalkeeper, Concilia, losing track on the ball. Here's how Peters very nearly just sort of toe poked a little goal there. Skidding greasy ball away from him. Here's the corner from Emily Hughes, though. Colin Bell. Curry. Shivers. McFarlane losing his feet, but he needed them most then. Etmar flicking it on, and Sturrock didn't chase on. Hunter. Emily Hughes. Clark is wide to his left. Everybody wants to score. Eagerness of England now. That's Curry going for that ball from Hunter. And that's number five for Martin Chivers. Fifteen minutes into the second half. Big Chiv gets his first goal of the evening. That ball from Emlyn Hughes. Skidding away over the far side. Here's the pass that set it up. Hunter for Curry in behind them. Chiba starts his run now, and that's an easy scoring chance. 5 nothing. So in scoring that goal, we're beginning to look towards the record books. England have scored five goals under Sir Ralph Ramsey only four times before against Wales, France, Malta and Scotland. And they've scored five here tonight.
best under Ramsey was an eight-goal blitz. Which they've done twice. The best one was an 8-1 win over Switzerland in uh, June 1963, and they put eight goals on Ireland here in Wembley in November 63. So that's what England are looking for now. They've really got the urge to score goals this evening. And the opportunities and the skill to fashion them. And fabric, fabric, glorious scoring movements. Willy Croys. That must be an incredibly disheartened Austrian side. Forcing forward now through Krankel. Jar is in the middle of the box. Safe hands there now, Peter Schulten with a very greasy ball. Peters taking it on again for England. Krieger out. Etmeyer in trouble. Eigenstealer. Cruz and that solid tackle challenge from Hunter. Hunter again. Shannon, Curry. Now Hunter. Right. Shannon forward. Mick Shannon. Shannon, who's on a hat trick tonight, along with Alan Clark. Derek and Etmeyer losing his feet again. England have adapted themselves to the greasy surface far better than the Austrians tonight. Tony Curry, Shivers, Curry, Hughes, Curry, Curry. Shannon, the one-two didn't come off. Pressure still on, though, with Maidley. Starek knocked it out. Jara. Austrians in so much trouble, it isn't true. Didn't Hunter win that one positively? And a wounded Austrian. With number 14, Gombas, the substitute. Evelyn Hughes, lots of time. Again, that uh, white wave of England shirts moving forward on the Austrian goal. Colin Bell stretched wide on the right. Tony Curry, Maidley. McFarlane could be in trouble. Won it well. Curry. Alan Clark. And Shivers wants it. But too tight. Shivers starts from the halfway line again. And again from Hunter, the man who started the last attack. Tony Curry. Maidley. Faced by Eigenschiller. Hits Starek. Shannon up. Down for Curry. Six nothing. Tony Curry. That's his first ever international goal in senior internationals. He'll enjoy seeing the way that Maidley knocks it across. Comes off Starek. Shannon, a good challenge under pressure, and Tony Curry, a glorious shot to the far corner. There's one very happy fellow, Tony Curry. His fourth international for England, and his first goal. So we are now going to have a delay for another substitute. Looks very much as though Eigenstiel is coming off.
And we have Vera Crisson. Verna Kreese on then. Verna Kreese, who is a fullback, left back replacing Eigenstieler, also a fullback. Three substitutes allowed in the game. The Austrians have already made two substitutions, and England are back on the attack again. Shannon, far post ball, and could this be another one? Chivers is chasing it. Well, a poor goalkeeper, Concilia having an awful lot of trouble grabbing hold of a ball firmly tonight. Concilia, the goalkeeper of uh, Wacker Innsbruck, who won the League and Cup last season in the Austrian Championships. And the crowd really picking it up. They won seven. only the second time that any of Sir Alf Ramsey's sides scored exactly six goals in a match. But remember, they're still shooting for eight. Or even nine, which would be a new record under Ramsey. The crowd really enjoying this tremendous display by England. That's Shannon charging ahead. Consilia. For Sara. Woody Cruz, easily taken up by Hughes. Now Colin Bell, Martin Peters. And again, that remorseless wave of white shirts moving down there. Clark roughed out of it then by Cruz. Etmeyer picking up Starek. Starek and Etmeyer who not really been able to fashion much in midfield for Austria. Not been allowed to. Kreis for Krieger. Etmeyer taking over. Running with the ball, but who's unmarked? Krempel. Taking on Maidley. Etmeyer hoped there was somebody there, but that was, I guess, by God. Now Sara. Etmeyer now for Gombash. That took a deflection. Goal kick given. Gombash, Manfred Gombash. Ball. Curry. Curry against Kreese. He's getting the tackle. He's the captain of the uh, Wacker Innsbruck side. Oh, a chance for Clark. Cheeky bit of football from Colin Bell. Didn't quite come off with Sara, so the attack builds again through McFarlane. McFarlane going in. Peters for Bell. Oh, Colin Bell. Trying a very exceptional chip ball. Certainly, this would be a night to break his duck at Wembley. Four international goals previously, but still to score here. Krieger on. Sara. Oh, a chance on then for Clark. Still there. And just over the bar as Krieger was on the line, ready to knock it off, and Alan Clark's hat trick suddenly disappeared. The moment then that Alan Clark might have got his hat trick from a bad Austrian defensive mistake. Kinsella comes fast and hard, flying leap and missed the ball. It's still on. Krieger is on the line. But he didn't have to bother. Curry. Maidley. Clark now. Peters. Didn't quite come. 
Chance for Austria to break out. Cruz. Sara. Gombash. Talking of bash, that's exactly what Austria have had tonight, a real bashing. Colin Bell. Emin Hughes. Emin Hughes losing his legs to Sara. One of the few moments of uh, temperament. Martin Peters. The opposed Chivers. Peters again against Gombash. Sara for Austria. Mainly safe as a rock. Colin Bell. Shannon neatly for Clark. Shannon and Clark playing a 1 2 tip tap over the far side. Clark. They're looking for Peters. The punch. Emlyn Hughes. Goalkeeper's still off his line. Now he's got back. <laughs> well, the power of that shot removing the legs of Martin Chivers. Again, the Austrians plod away, hopefully going back upfield. There's red shirts. Sweat stained as well as rain stained out there. Taking a real battering from this England side. Schmidradner. Kreese infield for Krieger. Break on again for England. Martin Chivers. Good covering then by Kreese. Chivers didn't break quite fast enough, and Trees got the tackle. Gombash has the scoreline, the scoreline that's made these warm the fans up here on a chilly, wet night at Wembley. Etmeyer for Austria. Willie Cruz. Frankel. Frankel, it's a little bit tight in there for the kid. Still got the cross in. Shelton did awfully well then, as Jara came at him hard. The crowd giving a big hand. I thought to Jara, but it's the scoreline that's gone up on the board. They've just seen that Scotland are 2-1 ahead on Czechoslovakia. And if that scoreline doesn't change, then Scotland will have qualified tonight. Madeley for England. So that will re-spur England. They've still yet to qualify. They've got to beat Poland here in October. A game, incidentally, that you'll be able to see on, on this channel. Gombash. Etmeyer. Gombash taking it across the park again. Oh, and a terrible ball cut up by Shivers. And on for England again. Shivers. Shannon's outside. Now Shivers. Silly got a hold of that one, all right. Crankle breaking for Austria. And Jara in with a chance until Norman Hunter decided that the chance would not go to this very expensive player from Valencia. Alf Ramsey still not any great smile on his face, having a word with our uh, Shepherdson. There's Cocker in between them. Bobby Moore signing autographs at the back. Corner then for Austria. Derek, Gombash and Etmeyer. Going to try it with the left foot again. Hunter knocks it out. Hunter really has played a tremendous game in defence tonight. But it's the shooting 
fiery shooting of the England front line that has captured the imagination here at Wembley this wet evening. This attack building up again, the chance is on for Bell! Colin Bell makes it seven! Well, that breaks the sequence, it's been C's up to now, Shannon Clark, Shivers and Curry, and now Bell. Here's the build-up for the goal. And there's Bell, sticking it in for number seven. Seven nothing. With just about a minute or so to go to the end of this game. And this brings back memories of the very, very early days of matches between Austria and Vienna in the early 1900s when England regularly used to stick as many as 11 goals on Austria. Things have changed since the 30s. Faber Cruz on uh, Bell. Things have changed since the 30s. The teams have been very much more evenly uh, contesting games. But tonight, this England attack really has mauled Austria completely and absolutely. Emin Hughes. Shannon now again. Shannon going in for it. Shannon looking for a hat trick. I still can't help feeling that this as a build-up for the Poland game is not really what England needed. It's something a little bit more powerful. But then one wonders indeed whether with this energy, with this sort of thrusting attack, they might do just the same sort of thing to Poland. It's a tremendous tonic for the England side. And a very dampening effect on these Austrians. Starek still trying to set something up but Shivers cuts it out again and the attack cannot develop there's the end of the game the end of a tremendously goal pack game seven nothing England just a reminder on the scoreline Shannon two Clark two Shivers one Curry one and Bell a